guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have got a massive try on haul from Black Friday and Cyber Monday and a bit before. The last time I did a haul was I think in 2015 when I was A, still chubby, B, had the worst fashion sense ever. That was just a mess. Those were dark, dark times and I hope that that gives you some hope that there is light at the end of your tunnel. I thought that it would be fun. I've literally done so much shopping and a few of you guys asked for it when I tweeted about my shopping. If you guys want more fashion videos then try and get this video to 3,500 thumbs up and I'll be sure to do them. Everything that I'm going to talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below. You can go ahead and check them out. And because I'm a literal idiot, I forgot to mention in the video that this is a collab with Yaz Online, Love Evie and Olivia Grace. They all did winter lookbooks and their channels and videos will be linked in the description box down below. Definitely check them out. I'm obsessed with all of their channels. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button if you're new to my channel and let's just get on with the video. Let's go. I feel like we should start with misguided and start with the stuff in the bag. <laughs> Bought on a bit of a whim. This item I sent to my friend. Wasn't quite sure if I wanted to get it. They all said no. But you know what? I didn't listen to the haters and I pushed myself through. Don't know if I'm going to regret this. So this is a bomber jacket and I haven't worn a bomber jacket for about two years. I really don't like bomber jackets at all. But this one looked really cool online. So originally I wanted the orange puffer jacket which everyone was wearing but that is, it's been sold out for too long misguided. We're not here playing games. We're not here to wait for you to restock things. Calm down. Thank you. It was just taking too long, so I was like, you know what? I might just try this out. It's 50% off. It's an orange bomber jacket. It's really oversized, really padded. Like, this is gonna keep me warm. I'm gonna cut to a clip here of me trying it on so I can talk to you guys about how it fit and stuff. You're just gonna have to excuse the messy room and the makeup all over my desk. Ooh, ooh, I like. This is cute it's like got that perfect oversized look which doesn't make you look puffy and fat you know like that very much can go wrong quite quickly say it fits true to size so get your size and it will be like this much oversized better boop. And the other thing which I ordered online, because I actually usually don't order misguided online because I feel the sizing for me changes so much. I usually just go into store because it's a lot easier. I live in London, there's one in Westfields, hallelujah, thank the Lord. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They do not sell these in Westfields and I've been waiting for weeks so I just ordered these online. And they're the Curly by Bell white joggers. I think I have lipstick on my teeth. I would just like to apologise for that if you could see that, that's gross. Anyway, I love wearing the colour white but... I'm a clumsy person, okay? Oh, these are soft. But they're just white joggers. Very basic. The exposure's quite high. You see them on the try-on clip. They feel good quality. They don't look see-through like my hand is there. And they're fleecy on the inside. I think these are going to fit me fine. I just wanted some white joggers. I was going to get some champion ones. But I was like, these are £12.50 in the sale. But I feel like Misguided has stepped up their quality so much recently. Try these. If they don't work, I'll get the champion ones. But I really feel like these are going to work. These Crowns are getting worse and worse. But you know, we have to work with a university dorm room. These are the white misguided Carly Bible joggers. They are so thick and so fleecy, like not at all see-through. And they are kind of like what I wanted. I have an issue. If you are a follower of mine on YouTube, on Instagram, you'll have seen these trousers, these iconic trousers. My favorite camo trousers, they're orange, they are so cool. I'm so obsessed with these, they're the comfiest trousers I own and I wear them all the time but because they're like such an obvious item, like it's not like, like a pair of black jeans which I wear all the time you wouldn't notice, they're like loud, they're screaming in your face when you wear them, they're like hello, I am camo trousers, I am here, I am in the room and I was wearing them a bit too much, all my friends were like Lewis I swear to god they're the only things I've seen you in the past week but I had only actually worn them three times but it's because they're so loud, it's so noticeable. They have faded a bit in the wash which I was really worried to wash them because of that but they're still really nice but they're not joggers they've got a zip and a button they're like a cargo material I'm all for these trousers so much so I had to buy another pair I don't know if you can tell but these are slightly different material these are more like comfy cargos and this is more of like a I don't know what that material is can you hear that they have this cool little like square print on. I think it's so cute. Don't wear these as much, but they're still just as comfy. They're still just as cute. They are just a bit dark. I wish that they were a bit lighter in color, but I wear these with white hoodies and denim jackets, white hoodies and black jackets. Anything to be honest, like they're just so cute. Camo trousers are just a math thing, you know? You also definitely will have seen this on me. This is also from Misguided and it is just a black 
padded puffer jacket. Miss Sky have really stepped up on their like coat games. Like this is also a very warm, comfy coat. Plain black, I said that I wasn't gonna get a black hoodie, not hoodie. Bitch, does this look like a hoodie to you? A black puffer this year, just because I felt like it was a bit basic, but you know, I saw this in Misguided, I was like, I'm gonna wear that a lot, and was I right? I have literally, I have gotten my money's worth. I literally wear this every single day. I sized two sizes up, or one size, two, one or two sizes, and it fits me like the perfect oversized fit. I said that I wanted the orange version of this, but it's been out of stock for ages. So I got just got the blue one. Don't love this as much. I got a size smaller than that black one, and it just doesn't quite fit me the same. It fits me a bit smaller, I'm not a big fan. It's also very hard to incorporate this into outfits. Again, like the camo trousers, can't wear it too much, because when you walk into a room, it's like, I just wish I got a size up, and I think that I probably would have worn this as much as the black. They have loads of colours as well. They have yellow, orange. Like, if you're looking for a good puffer that's not too expensive, go to Misguided. I think these are £35. They will be linked in the description. I actually got this cap. I picked it up thinking it was a plain denim cap, and then I got back, and it actually says Barbie on the front, which I'm not crazy about, but, like, I don't hate it. I have worn this a few times. It's from their Barbie collection. It's not what I thought I bought this. I thought it was just, like, a plain denim cap. And I bought this back when I was still growing growing out my hair, so I needed caps to wear over the top. Now my hair's growing back, I'm not really wearing caps much anymore. Speaking of denim, I've never bought misguided jeans before, but these were like too cute to miss. They look questionable when I just hold them up like this. Like, ooh, okay, what is going on here? Very confused, dot com. But they are like blue jeans, which have like rips. Excuse me, I'm trying to film a video, thank you very much. They have rips in the knees, but not like big rips. And then the waist is like frayed, and it's got this chain kind of thing going on. I'm great at describing things. This chain belt, which you just do up. I wore these in my night routine, and they're actually really comfy. I didn't expect misguided jeans to be this comfy. It's a bit okay, okay, dropped it. Bit of a controversial piece, okay? Nope, we've already talked about you, come on. Basically, I saw this in the Misguided store. They had a screen playing like a Misguided advert and one of the models was wearing this. And it is a pantsuit. Hmm. Basically, they have a bunch of different styles of blazers and trousers in this check and you can basically pick and match which ones you want. I went for just like the normal blazer. Got a bit of padded shoulders. I think it's really cute. I wear this when I'm feeling a little bit bougie with the matching trousers. If I'm going for the finish work at six and then I'm on for a little bit of shopping at seven, dinner and drinks at eight maybe, tone it down with some jeans and a t-shirt or maybe like trackies and a t-shirt and that looks really cool. My vision was, you know when you got those things which are like a little bit classy, it's not like too classy. This matching set with a t-shirt and trainers, it's gonna be a look, it's gonna be a look. And the trousers have a side stripe down the side and they have these really annoying elastic cuffs at the bottom. I know you're supposed to wear these on your ankle, but they just piss me off, okay? They just piss me off. So I just tucked them up my trousers and they have the side stripe down and they look really cute together. And that's everything I got from Miss Guided. Moving on to PLT. So everything I bought from Pretty Little Thing was in the Black Friday sale other than this. It's just a grey hoodie and I got this about two weeks ago because I saw Sophia. Sophia and Chintia are just my style icons. I literally buy everything that they buy. And it's just a grey hoodie and it's so, so comfy. Like literally the most comfy hoodie I've ever worn and it's just not that expensive and i've been looking for just a plain gray hoodie i bought one from zara but they have like metal tags here and when i saw sophia wearing it in a haul i was like this is what I came for. And it's just what I've been looking for for ages. And then, I used to just rip them open, but you're supposed to open them like this, aren't you? Okay, you know what? It's too much effort, I'm just ripping it. I love that grey one and wore it so much, I ordered the white and black as well. I got the grey in a size large, but it's just a bit too oversized. So I got these two in a medium, and I hope they're going to be a bit of a better fit. Oh, medium is much better fit, so probably just get true to size. So this is the white one. I need to make sure I don't get makeup on it. It's literally just a plain white hoodie. This looks a lot better sizing compared to the grey one. These are £25 I think and that's, that's really not that bad but they were 20% off on Black Friday so I got the, the black and white ones for 20 quid each. Honestly these are the comfiest hoodies I own. Like just think of lying in a bed in hoodie and you'll get this. This is just a plain black one. You can't really see like when I hold it up it just looks like a sack. Like it looks like a piece of material, a piece of fabric. But in the trial clips, you'll see them. Like I like it, I love it, I, I don't care. I love it, yeah. As I said, I'm literally living in joggers at the moment. Needed a plain grey pair. So I just got these from Pretty Little Thing. Don't know how these are gonna look, because I like quite thick joggers and these look quite thin. These look very 
the thing, you know? Actually, no, these look perfect. These literally look perfect. They're just gray joggers and they are cuffed at the bottom, exactly what I was looking for. So these, if I remember right, I think were 12 pounds down to 11 pounds. Come on, pretty little thing, that's like hardly a sale here. First thing I noticed, I just went to put my hands in my pockets and there are no pockets. My pet peeve is when like jogger trousers don't have pockets. They're so comfy. I do rate these, especially for the price I got them. This was a bit on a whim. I got a Baker Boy. <laughs> Just so not gonna suit me, I can already tell. I actually ordered one from Misguided, but it's too small for my fat head. <laughs> so I ordered this one from Pretty Little Thing. To be honest, it's probably still gonna be too small. I just look like a train conductor. It's I look like a- this is too big for my head actually. Honestly, I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling this for either. I think this might have to go back. Let me know, because I'm not uploading this video tomorrow, so I won't go to the post office till the end of the week anyway. Let me know if you guys think I should keep- I'll do a little poll on the eye. I don't know which side it is. I think I'm gonna send this back. It just looks a bit too baggy. I got a pair of sunnies because I'm actually going on holiday straight after Christmas. They are like- Ooh. Ooh. Ee. Ooh. Ooh. Who is that? They look like they sell number one records. They look like they're top in the charts. No, I'm actually digging these. Like, I think they're really cute and they're gonna come in handy for holidays. Probably not too much now considering it's literally freezing and anytime I leave my house, I'm like, it. Oh. And finally, I got, oh, okay, what the fadoodle is going on here? What is this like long thing going on? I got a pair of gray pinstripe trousers. I wanted to get on that pinstripe trend. I saw someone at university wearing a pair of pinstripe trousers, a woman with a hoodie and trainers and like a puffer. I was like, that looks cool. These are proper trousers. I know pretty little thing do like elasticated waist ones, but these are like, proper trousers. Can't remember how much these were, but as I said, they'll be linked down below. And I wanted to get grey rather than black, just like, you know, to give a little something different. I got loads of black trousers. Ignore this stupid black thing, it's annoying me too. No pockets again. I wanna put stuff in my pockets, pretty little thing. Apart from that, I literally love these. I said I was on the jogger, tracky, sports, luxe hype, and I got these and I wore these to Hello World. They are white Adidas, three stripe tra um, trackies, but the stripe stops halfway down your thigh. They look really cool. I've been wearing these loads, but they're actually quite unflattering. They're still really cool though. I actually paired these with like this fur jacket, which is coming up. Fur jackies. Fur jackies. Oh my god, it is too late to speak. Trackies in a fur jacket shouldn't go, but you know, it is working. And they're so comfy. And these are from Adidas. And this is the fur jacket I was talking about. This is from Topshop, and it is a fur biker jacket. It's so comfy. Like, you wouldn't actually understand, like, how comfortable this jacket is. Literally love this jacket. Like, usually the aviator biker jacket. The aviator biker jackets are just fur on the inside, but this is fur the whole way around. Literally, when I saw this, I was like, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. You know, you're still getting that fur kind of trend, but it's not being like super dressed up. It is very noisy when you move. You're like, oh, okay. I bought way too many jackets. This is from Monkey, which I think you can get on ASOS. And this is 65 pounds. And it is like a vinyl black puffer, which is so warm. I wore this to Winter Wonderland and my friend was like, are you not freezing? And I was like, I'm actually surprisingly warm. Cause to the touch of the hand, the outside of the jacket, you're like, oh my God, oh God, oh, it's chilly. It's about to snow. But the inside is so warm. But again, very noisy when you try and move anywhere. <laughs> Finally, Urban Outfitters. I actually only bought one thing in the Black Friday sale. By the way, this necklace is from Skinny Dip. It's like um, a little like bar of gold. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. But I got this in the sale and this was 30% off. It's just like a red East Pack bum bag, but I've been wearing it across. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I've been wearing it across, so like here. I know a lot of people don't like this wearing bum bag trend. I'm obsessed with it. It is 10 out of 10 convenience. You know, you're in front of the store and you're literally just like hand up and you're like, Here's my card. I got these joggers from Adidas, but you can't really tell they're from Adidas, which I quite like. My mum actually spotted these out for me, and I was like, mum, A plus fashion taste. <laughs> Velour, and they're so comfortable. They've got like the same color stripe as the jogger color, so you can't really see the stripes, but then they have a white Adidas logo down here, like at the very bottom. So comfortable, so cute. Velour is like so in trend at the moment. When I saw these in Urban, I was like, perfect. Pick it up. Actually, my mum picked it up for me. Thanks, mumsy. Love you. Mwah. Big kisses. 
because I couldn't find any plain comfy white hoodies, but now I got that one from Pretty Little Thing, I think you'll probably see this a bit, little bit less. It is this white hoodie from Urban, and on the front it says New Revolution in some foreign writing, don't know which like country this writing is so I'm not gonna say where because I don't want to offend anyone and then the back is I feel like this was off-white inspired but it's just got this pattern on the back I hate the back not gonna lie really not a fan of over-the-top logo hoodies don't mind if it's Nine. Don't mind if it's like a brand logo, but if it's just like random words, I'm not the biggest fan. But it's such a comfy hoodie. I'm not even joking. This is the comfiest white hoodie I own. I'm on the Kappa height. <coughs> what, what, what is wrong with me? I need water. As I was saying, I'm on this Kappa height. I got a khaki pair and they're like kind of flared at the bottom. Not flared, but they just like slightly go out, which I don't really like. I just roll these up twice at the bottom and they do roll down during the day, which is so annoying. I keep having to roll down, roll it back up and I'm like, I'm okay. People keep thinking I'm like tying my shoelace. I'm like, nope, just rolling my trousers up. Don't mind me. Hockey, hockey. But I love the khaki pair so much, I got the black pair, they're the exact same, they're just in black. Obviously I can't wear khaki with everything, so I thought if I got the black pair, these will literally go with every single thing in my wardrobe. And then, oh, that was heavy. Urban actually really, really kindly and shockingly sent me a few items over. This beanie is my beanie of the year. It's this cute little fisherman beanie, and then it's got a white Nike logo on the front. I, you can't really see because of the lighting, but I'll insert pictures here. I've been wearing this loads, you would have seen it on my Instagram. I have this thing where if my ears get cold, they'll just like sting and like ring and hurt. So I usually have to wear hats when it gets really cold. I'm in my hat of the year, Huns. A Tommy Hilfiger windbreaker. <gasps> Look how cute it is. It's the, just the two colors, and then it's got a Tommy logo here and then a Tommy logo on the sleeve and then the back is just plain. This is gonna be so cute when it starts like rain and stuff because like I'm waiting for the days to come. They are coming soon. Our days are numbered without the rain. The hood is fleeced. Oh my God, it's fleeced all in the inside because obviously I hadn't tried it on before this try on clip. Impressed and also I think I just knocked my eyelash out of place. Not cracked this out yet because it's not, as I said, it's not rained since I've got this. But when it rains, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a look with my cap of trousers. This, oh, okay, that hit me in the face. Thank you very much. It is a Stussy long sleeve t-shirt. It's just pink and it's got the Stussy logo here. Large Stussy logo on the back. So cute. <laughs> pink, I think it's gonna be my upcoming color. Now, I actually like, didn't pick these out, but I'm really happy they sent with me them. They are just like normal Adidas trackies. Also, you think until you find out they're crop. That came out of nowhere. That, I, that surprised me. But imagine these. Okay, so bearing in mind they're cropped. White shirt, that misguided blazer, and my black Nike Air Force Ones. Ooh, ooh. It's gonna be a look. Love, love, love these. And that, folks, is everything in the haul. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys want some more fashion hauls because trust me, even if you don't, my shopping addiction is still gonna continue. And I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.